Hi, I'm Lindsay Sterling. Uh, I'm a violinist, a dancer, composer, and a touring artist. And you know, when this whole coronavirus situation got out of control, I had actually just landed in South America to start my South American tour. And as soon as we hit the ground, we were informed that our entire tour was canceled. There was a travel ban being put into place and we had to ASAP get on a plane back to the States. So I immediately flew out to my sister in Missouri. It's in the middle of a farm. It couldn't be more different than the life that I'm used to. Let's take a selfie. But I decided that if I was gonna be stuck in quarantine somewhere, I wanted to be with my family. I'm not gonna lie, this reminds me a lot of my childhood. We used to have a horse, but also I remember playing and making hay bale forts. <laughs> oh, and I've gotten to ride horses. I admit, there have been times that this has been really hard for me. I've been sitting there thinking, I'm supposed to be on tour right now. I'm supposed to literally be performing in front of thousands of people right now in Brazil. And yet, I haven't styled my hair in days. <sighs> However, you know, just because I planned on doing something doesn't mean that's necessarily what I'm supposed to be doing. Who can ever determine what is supposed to be? So, as I've been adapting my life and my work to fit my new normal, I have found some interesting silver linings. For example, since I only have to get ready for live streams and Skype meetings, I do a lot of getting ready on the top half of my body. And my new favorite trick. You don't have to style the back of your hair. I've also been taking vocal lessons via Skype. For the first time in forever, there'll be music, there'll be light. The song gives me hope. Someday we'll get out of here. I practice my violin way more than I normally get to. I've also gotten to do some live streams. Just because I couldn't be on tour doesn't mean I couldn't still perform and play. Then also, I'm really giving myself permission to just be. I feel like this idea of just being comfortable being me is something that I've been working on for like years, you know? For the last few years, I have found most of my value through applause and through being busy and through these external validations and go, go, go mindset. And the busier I am, the more value I feel I have. I feel like being put in this situation has made me give myself permission to just be. It is a beautiful day. And just exist as Lindsay and nothing more. And that's the only value there is, is that I am me. Hello. I see you. I see you too. I see you. I There's see a lot you too. that I feel like I'm learning through this. And this has opened up the door for me to build a relationship with my nieces and play, to bring out my inner child, a side of me that I don't always honor. <laughs> they turn into monsters um, at any given moment. Oh no! I've also enjoyed acting out famous movie scenes with them. Run, you fools. <laughs> Run, you fools. Run, you fools. Go. Run, you fools. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'll go with you. As adults, I don't think we play enough. I've been able to cook meals. Me and my sister cook at night. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lindsay and Brooke cooking show. Uh, That's right. Here, we're gonna be making uh, Harissa Pita Pockets. Harissa Pita Pockets. Mom. We'd like to thank our studio audience. Mommy, move to press, press. Uh, we like to ask for uh, silence on the set. And through this, I have discovered my favorite muffins in the world. I'll put the recipe on my page because it's so good. It's actually made with black beans as the base, so they're like actually pretty healthy. We're never gonna make it! 
I really hope that all of us can take bits of, you know, this current new normal into our future normal. I really think that this is something that could change the world for better. Give us a little more appreciation for just humanity. The fact that we are all just people. No one's above anybody else. We are all in this life experience together. I hope a bit of that comes out of this. I hope that we're all filled with a little more gratitude and appreciation for the life that we have been so blessed to live. I hope that we come out of this being more grateful. This has just made me realize that maybe where we're supposed to be is always actually where we are. What we do with that is then our choice. <laughs>